show you how to make a uh, hat from uh, a coconut palm leaf. Um, I've called it bushcrafting because I guess it's uh, bushcrafting Caribbean style. Um, several things you can do with the coconut tree and one of these would weave all sorts of things, baskets, uh, clothing, but I'm going to uh, show you how to make a hat today. Um, I like bushcrafting, I, I say I come from England, uh, I like watching a lot of the bushcrafting shows. TA Outdoors is one of my favourite with Mike Pullen and his dad uh, obviously does the TA fishing, goes to water fishing, Graham. Um, so I'm a, keen, a pretty keen fanatic on uh, bushcrafting in back in England but I thought that it'd be uh, interesting for you to see something uh, bushcrafting in, uh, in the Caribbean. So um, I've got some items here which I'm going to show you how, where I'm going to I'm going to make for you. That's the uh, that's the hat. Um, it takes me about an hour to do it to make the hat to weave it. I'm not as good as the local people uh, because they um, they're expert. They live here. Obviously, I live 4,000 miles away from a coconut tree. I never sell them. I only give them away to the gardeners and people who, who uh, actually work work in the hotels. So uh, you've got people here who make them and sell them to people like us. So I'm not going to do that. I'll give them away. It starts, uh, this is one part of the coconut uh, leaf. I'm going to show you where I, actually where I, a full limb, what they call a limb, and show you where this come from. And then we start the hat by, by wrapping it, uh, cutting this band here very thin, about two millimetres, and then tying it together with, uh, with these two ties here, which are the still part of the coconut. You can do it with wire, but I do prefer to do it with the all, all natural from the coconut. So I hope you enjoy the, uh, the video, and uh, I'll show you how, how, to, uh, how to do it and uh, you might be able to have a go yourselves then when you come over here or when you go to a country that's got coconut trees. This is a good example of a, uh, a typical coconut tree as you can see there there's some really good branches on there. There's this one, it's a good one, this one is a good one and there's one at the back but the centre one we, we leave alone because that'll kill the tree if you take the centre one. So you only take one of those three leaves, one at the back, one on this side and one on this side. You only take one off each tree because you don't want to, you don't want to spoil the tree, you want to be respectful for where they are as well. Don't, obviously I wouldn't take this one because it's right in the hotel grounds. But you'll find these on the beach, uh, lower ones as well because this is high. You wouldn't be able to get this yourself or I certainly wouldn't. Uh, but the gardeners uh, would, would uh, probably they have to go up and uh, trim all the all the old leaves off down here. This one here is too brittle, so don't bother using those. It's only the ones that are sticking straight up and curling over the top, like that one. There's a perfect example. It's showing it's supple, very supple, and you've able to weave it well. Hope that uh, that explains a bit to you. then you start to strip it over from there and the useful bits are right to that tip where you cut your tip out so you've got all of this portion all of this portion all of this portion all of that portion to make four things and as you can see now the bottom half that's a part of foot off and the top half I've had a bit in the middle to make four different things um, and that's uh, this is how much it makes so you get a, you get a lot of material to work with out of one leaf. Now I've actually made six there, but I've got two small ones on the bottom, so probably to make some baskets. This is a section uh, at the bottom of the leaf which I can't use because the palm leaves are too short. But what I have done is I've, I've stripped some of the material off here on the front edge of it, which I use for tying. That's the stuff I use for tying if you haven't got wire which is just as good and it's all made out of a, a natural product. 
so um, you have to test it and put a, uh, just strip some off and cut a little bit off and put a knot in it to see if it does tie but uh, no times out of ten it will do so there's another useful tip um, this is a, a strip of the material I've, I've harvested on the front of the uh, coconut leaf and near the bottom of the leaf because it's, it seems that it's a tougher fibre and what I do is I strip it strip it down here with my knife just get my knife in strip it off strip a piece off here's a piece here and then I just put a simple knot test in it to see if it's tight and it that's good that'll uh, it needs stripping a little bit more make it a little bit finer and rub your back of your knife up and down it to make it more flexible but um, this is uh, this is nice to do if you can find the material it won't always it won't always be it won't always be as good uh, every time because sometimes it snaps but if you can use this it's a lot a lot better the other thing I was going to mention to you is uh, you'll definitely need one of these uh, a knife a good knife this particular one's the um, the champ the Swiss Army champ and I use quite a lot of uh, the uh, the things on this knife especially this me, me, uh, me main blade it's very sharp, I bring a little stone with me where I stone it up before I come out. To, uh, obviously you can't carry these in your suitcase, it's got to go, sorry, in your hand luggage, it's got to go in your suitcase. So that's as sharp, I would say, as a, almost as sharp as a, of a new Stanley knife blade. Um, we obviously use the saw blade for chopping through, uh, chopping through the, each stem and sometimes cutting them down if they're low enough for you to reach. That's very useful. Um, if you're using wire, Sometimes if you need, you can't just twist the wire, it needs to be pulled. So I use my pliers to pull the wire through and give it to really tight so you're really getting the, the stuff tight together. And then if you're going to put a, a, a hole through whatever you've made, if you're making a, say a little bird, I'll, 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 these will be coming in future videos, so I'm not going to do it on this one, but a little screwdriver where you can just poke a hole through the, uh, through the leaf after you've made something like a little bird and then thread a, uh, a piece of bone from the uh, coconut leaf and make, and make it hang and make it fly the children love, uh, love them as well so uh, a good knife and obviously I like my Swiss Army knife uh, I always watch on new YouTube um, Felix Himmler he's a master with these if you pick up on his, uh, on his threads on YouTube you'll find some amazing things he can do with, uh, with a Swiss Army knife I just wanted to do, uh, this, is a, this is one I've just cut down this morning, a section of the, uh, the leaf uh, that you, exactly the same as what I showed you off the big piece, this is just one section. I wanted to explain to you, this is how, how thick it, it is when you sort of tr rough trim it down, it's all got to be trimmed down to 2 mil or less so that you can uh, pull it back, make a circle or a, an oval shape. But I wanted just to show you also the, the difference between the top and the bottom. This here where the bone is, this is the bone of the, uh, that's the bone there, that white piece of the uh, coconut, that's, the, that's what they call the front. And then on the underside is the, uh, is you've got this fan of, uh, of uh, leaf. So these quite easily come off and uh, with a knife you can trim them down. I'll just trim this one down for you. get your knife there just pull it off and then you're left with just the bone then they can do all sorts of things with the bone you can hang uh, make make uh, like little birds and hang them from here and the children love them and, uh, and you actually make the birds out of these uh, these pieces that are left without the bone in by weaving them which I'll show you to on a later on, a new, on another video uh, but it's not for this one I'm just going to show you how to make a hat on this video Uh, just want to show you a little bit about the trimming. This is what you're going to make the, uh, the hat out of. Obviously this comes off a thick piece, a really thick piece that supported each side of the leaf. I've actually cut that off and then I've trimmed it so that I can actually, I can actually pull this round now and make a, a large circle. It's like so. I've also uh, notched it put a notch in there look to do the ties this end 
I've got another couple of notches there so I can pull it together like so and tie it together like that. Anyway, once you've got that done, there they are tied together. Now I'm making a nice circle. What you want is a nice egg shape. Not you don't want it a perfect circle. You want it so that your head just goes and you've got about an inch inch play. Uh, that's for me anyway, but you can measure a person with just by taking one of these and measuring the head and then plus another couple of inches on there because by the time you've plaited down the inside, it shrinks. So I'm going to, uh, remember I told you about the bone being the top of the leaf and the V leaf is on the bottom. So I want that facing me. So I've got the, uh, so I'm going to start to show you how to do the brim. This is a four stitch brim. So I go under, over, under, over, and then back in the hole, yeah? And the same again, under, over, under, over, back in the hole, under, over, under, over, back in the hole. And then you see you can make the pattern up. You must leave these loose though, because you've got to go back into them. So under, over, back in the hole. So there's three I've done there, yeah, yeah. And then when you've gone all around it, that's what it looks like. It's all loose, it needs all needs tensioning. And you do that by pulling these and then helping with this hand, pulling them together like so. Until you've got it all nice and neat and you've compacted it like this one. <laughs> it's what I've done earlier. So I've, I've compacted, I've, I've tension, put that under tension now. It's a nice brim shape, it's a nice curved down shape. And there's an important bit about that one I wanted to talk to you about, having it that sort of shape. But you can see it's pulled together nicely, like that. And once you've got this, this far, you then pull these leaves through to start to form the body of the hat, the, fit, the part, part that fits onto your head. So you just pull them through, like so. In order, all the way through, like so. They're all gone through now. And just to prove that they're all okay, you just put it on your head, and then that, uh, that so that so you know it fit the person you're going to make it for. That's the easy bit done. The hardest bit now is to actually form a, a circle with the palm leaves, make a fan so that they're all sticking out equally, and then you plait them back in, and I'm going to show you how to do that. This uh, this part here is to make the uh, the body of the hat now to fit on your head is the most difficult bit, I would say. So just to try and bear with me, off and try and follow me. I'll try and make it as easy as I can. What you do is you uh, you pick these leaves up one at a time, like picking a set of cards up in your hand, one after another, keeping them in order. Just keep them in order. There's the pack of cards I've got there until I go all the way around. I've got that shape, a fan shape, right? And they're all even in my hand. I'm not squeezing, squeezing on. Just got them in my hand like that. And then what you've got to do then is you've got to find one of them, just one of them, and go from one side of the hat to the other side of the hat on this side and start to plait. You mustn't go half. It must go over halfway, not before, no, no uh, sooner than halfway. So I'm going to choose one. I'm going to choose this one. That's it, and that starts there. And I'm going to tuck him in on the opposite side. All right, so that's my first stitch. Yeah. Then I'm going to do another one. Just follow it round. All right, so follow it round. 
like so. Pull it round, like so. Until you've got the the main leaf on the opposite loop on the opposite side of the of the hat, making a making turning the fan shape into a dome shape, which will form the top of the uh, it's going to top of the top of the hat. So I'm going to go all the way around that and then finish it and I'll just show you what that looks like. Because here's one I prepared earlier. That's what it looks like. So I've fed them from one side, when I'm out of the fan I've got in my hand, one side over to the other. Now if you're starting this for the first time, what I recommend is, is that you number the leaves all the way around. Doesn't matter how many leaves there are, as long as it, it, it's going to fit on top of somebody's head or your head or whatever, yeah, then you've got to make sure that, uh, that they're on the, on the opposite side. So I've got a one stitch, you can see there, holding the hat together, making a nice dome shape. That'll all close up as I, as I, as I touch in the hat. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch five. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull it out first, because I'm going to actually uh, do the plaiting with this thin end of the, of, the, uh, of, the, of the palm leaf. So one, two, three, Four, five, that's one, make room for it, second, second one, one, two, three, four, five, and I'm going to go all the way around, I'll do one more, one, Two, three, four, five. And you can see it started to build. You go all the way around until you've got it similar to this. So I've stitched it all around. So I went with one, one stitch there, and I've gone one, two, three, four, five. And they've all come out at the bottom of the hat, right? So all I've got to do now is I've got to just tension it by putting your finger at the top of the, at the top of the hat and then just watching it pull pull through look keep your hand at the top of the hat starting to pull these from underneath i'm pulling these underneath the hat these these ends right and i'm watching the top of the hat all go nicely together like that and that's what you should have uh, as it starts but this will go down probably to about there and this will all tighten up on the little look when it's finished like that that's what you're looking for so that's the inside that's the inside of the hat and that's the outside all nice and neat and uh, pretty solid when you when you tension everything up now the importance of this is obviously making sure you've got the right leaf you need the leaf right out of the top of the tree as I've already explained and if you're using a palm leaf that's too brittle, it'll break on you. So once you've got that all tensioned up, this isn't tensioned up yet, so I've got to pull it some more. But when it is, what you do, you feed these ends back through and they come out of the front of the hat here. And on this stitch here, there, is where you started to do the weaving. You actually took the ends underneath there. And I'll show you what that looks like. If you look there, I've cut the tail off on this one, look. This one here is fed from inside the hat and it finishes on that stitch there. So hopefully you can understand that. But uh, I say, I've told you all the basics really, the important stuff of uh, the importance of getting the right leaf, uh, taking your time, making sure that the thickness of this band here that before we start to do any weaving or pulling a circle together that it's the right uh, thickness you don't need more than about a mil and a half or a millimeter or two mil two millimeters at, at the most because you want it to be a nice x shape before you start to form the brim which is the fairly easy bit but that's the hardest bit anyway hopefully you can understand what i've uh, just said there <laughs> all the best I'll, 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 i've got a little bit more to come Well, this is the finished art. Uh, I did mention to you about the um, about the brim. 
Now the brim, we've, we've made it, we've put a bit of tension on it so that it bends down. But that tension actually, you can, if this is the back of the hat, if you wanted to, you can actually flip it and make it look like that so it looks pretty cool. Uh, but the people here want to keep their necks out of the sun so they prefer to have it down. But if you put that tension on when you're doing the, when you're doing this, you can actually make the back flip, which looks pretty cool. We have uh, I've given the hats the way to the gardeners, they, they are really friendly. Uh, although they've got the, <laughs> they're waving the machetes at me, but I think they're pretty, uh, they're pretty happy with the hats. So uh, there you go. That's what happens to them. I give them away for a bit of fun, and I think they really enjoy doing that. Okay, thank you very much. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Uh, just finally, thanks very much for uh, watching the video. I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope you've picked something up from it. Remember, uh, the importance of getting the right leaf and keep persevering because I had a lot of failures in the early days. I was putting more in the bin than what I was uh, getting there. Even when the hats were perfect, people were still liking them. They still liked them. And don't take any risks. Uh, going up the trees or anything like that get somebody to get them for get the leaves for you or get a lower one to cut them off without having um, to climb so be careful of that um, here's, uh, uh, here's all sorts of variations you can put flat make a flat top hat like this one and have a bit of a bit of fun with it and put a bird on it so <laughs> as they're walking around it's a bit of good fun for uh, for everybody and um, i'm sorry about uh, the bits of wind noise that's on the cat on the uh, on this video because i've only done it with me um, my, my phone or my, my camera on my phone so and it's the first one I've done but hopefully the contents will be useful to you um, if you if you like what you've seen give us a give us a thumbs up will you just to say just to say that you you know you say yes or no and remember there's other ways of making the hat this is just just the way I've been taught there are other ways of doing it but it's the same result you end up with the same thing so um, thanks again and th there will be future things you can see I've made other things baskets and all sorts of things and I'll follow it up with another video so thanks again for watching and all the best keep safe <laughs>